Hi there, in this video we're going to be looking at the Moon.js router. So to get started, I want to make a new project and I'm going to cd into repos and say make directory Moon.js router. If you haven't seen my introduction to Moon.js, I would definitely check that out on the channel. It's a good overview and it'll position you very well if you're looking to create applications with Moon. So now that we've made a new directory, I want to make a new index.html file and also an app.js file. After that, I'm going to be running HTTP server on the directory and also opening this up inside a Visual Studio code. As you can see, we are initially greeted with a blank page and we'll head over to index.html. I'm going to use Emma to simply generate a new HTML file. I'll change the title to Moon.js Router. And inside of the body tag, I do want to import both Moon.js and the Moon Router. So let's do that by adding a new script with the source of unpackage.com. And I want to use the development version of Moon. After that, we want to import another script and that will also be at unpackage.com, but this time it will be slash moon dash router. So that will allow us to use the moon router inside of our application. The final thing that I want to do is import another script and that will be pointing at our app.js. Just to get something on screen, we'll also make a div and the div will have the ID of app. And we can head over to our app.js and simply make a new moon with the element of app. And we'll give this a template of hello world. So here we have a new moon instance and that does say hello world on screen. The first thing we will be doing is using moon.use and we'll be passing through the moon router. Do be aware if you are using this in a node environment, then you will have to say const moon router is equal to require moon router. But at this point, we're simply importing it inside of our index.html so it is in that global scope. So we are now using the moon router. We can define a new router by saying const router is equal to a new moon router. We can pass through a default path. So we want the default route to be slash. And then we need to define what's known as the map. So the map allows us to define what routes we want in our application and then mapping it to a particular component. So if we had slash and we wanted to point that to the home component, well, we'd have to go and make a component named home. And perhaps we had another route, maybe slash contact, and that would also be the contact component. So let's look at how we can navigate between these two moon components. So before we do anything, we need a new component and that can be done with moon.component. We pass through the name of the component. So this would be home. And then we have a new object. So this acts as effectively a new moon instance. Anything that can go on the moon instance itself usually can go on the component. So this means we can have a template and we will have a div. Be sure to not add a new line before you write anything inside of your template. So don't do this else it will break in moon. So inside of the div, we'll have a h1 and this will say home component. And then we'll have something known as a router link. So the router link will be router dash link. And what this does is it allows us to effectively handle our routes across the application. So we can add a to attribute and this will go to slash contact. So we can effectively put some text inside of our router link called go to contact. So we're quite close to being finished. All we need now is a contact component. So I'm going to copy that moon component for home. I'm going to paste this and we're going to make a contact component. This will say contact component inside the H1 and it will point our user to slash, which will of course be go to home. So we have our two components and these map the same name 
that's inside of our moon router. So our map here has a slash and that's our home. So we've made both of our components and now we need to add the router to our root moon instance. So if we wanted to, we could give this a name such as app and we could pass in the router and obviously that router points to the router that we created up here. So if we wanted to, we could simply just put router like this. And now instead of saying hello world for our template, what I want to do is instead say router-view. And similar to other front end application frameworks and libraries, what this will do is it will inject the current route into this tag. So when we save our file and we refresh our page, we can see that we have that home route. And that's because it's getting injected into router view here. We then have the option to go to the contact route. When we go to the contact route, our URL changes to be slash contact, and then it renders this new component. So we are now rendering the contact component and we have the ability to go back to the home component if we select this button. But you will notice that at this point in time, we then get this error inside of the console. And that's because what's happening is we no longer have this route to view in existence. So we need to take this out and place it inside of the div, inside of our root index.html. When we save the file and we refresh our page, we can then go backwards and forwards from our home and contact. So always keep that router view inside of our root div with the ID of app or whatever ID you're using for your application. So that's how we use the Moon.js router inside of our Moon applications. I'd love to know what you think of this series and if you want to see more Moon apps, let me know inside of the comments section below. Don't forget to check out paulhalliday.io for more courses and free content. Until next time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated and I'll see you soon in that next video.